Picking up where I left off, uh, these screws are made of plexiglass. I had to actually make them myself, and I used plastic nuts on both sides. And in the center of the plates, I have just some regular old plastic that I'd cut into little squares and drilled holes through all of them, making little square washers. And those are uh, maybe a little thicker than a DVD and the plate system. The plate system is a stainless steel plates. They can be really any size that you want them to be as long as they fit in your container. It can be round or whatever shape you want. It could be a box, whatever you possibly can imagine. Um, also, there's the threaded side and there's a small square that I cut out of the stainless steel. So basically when I made this, I had all the steel plates together, I had cut a square in one side, drilled the hole through the left side, tapped it straight through, and I drilled all these holes, the four holes here, and I interchanged the plates by going, alternating the plates left to right. So basically it looks like that. So this side will be the threaded side and then this side would be the open square side and so on and so on all the way till you get to the back and here I have my four bolts and four nuts that I use to assemble so I'm putting inside my cell into the round tube and place all of your bolts into sorry these are a little bit snug fit just because of the threading so I'd recommend drilling the hole a little bit wider than your bolt itself just to make room for the threading or else you'll have a very hard time getting the bolts through the holes. Yeah. Well, you get the picture. Just put all four screws in to where they go through the four pre-drilled holes. And before you tighten everything up, of course, you want to fill it with water to about that level right there. Because if it goes any lower, you're going to run the chance of arcing between the plates and it could cause an explosion. So, that is the cell portion of the hydrogen torch.